um, we are going to begin with just checking in with the, the breath. So just start to breathe, breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. That's uh, typically from the research I've, I've done and the knowledge I've heard is the healthiest way to breathe. So see if you can do that. Um, and just taking this moment to, um, you know, say good morning to yourself. <laughs> I mean, just, just take a moment to f notice how you feel. And can you, if you can focus your mind or if you can't focus your mind, maybe bring it to some movement that the breath is creating, like the movement in the ribs. So just take a moment to breathe in and out, noticing how you're feeling. Allowing our bodies to calm down and relax. Just taking a quiet moment and then we'll start to add some movement. So let's just bring ourselves into the shoulders. I'm gonna add, let somebody in, I'm sorry. Um, I thought I already did. Let's turn in, okay. And um, <clears throat> just some shoulder rolls, check in with the shoulders. So the, and then we'll reverse the shoulders and go the other way. But it's nice to, to take a moment in the day just to do that. Um, we're just for your mental well-being, just to kind of check in. And then opposite shoulders. I, I walked in in the morning um, um, with my husband just waking up to his alarm. And so he wakes up to NPR. So he had that on and he was on his phone. I was like, oh my gosh, I, can't, I wouldn't be able to handle that <laughs> first thing in the morning. It's just, it's kind of nice just to, you know, notice how you're feeling. So we just warmed up the shoulders a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and do some circles. So start to add the elbow because we are gonna do, we are gonna have the strap today. And if that feels okay, add a little bit longer lever length, add the arm. Notice how it stretches the body, rotates the ribs. Um, so if you need to go grab a strap, grab a strap or you can, you can use a tie. I mean, or you don't have to grab a strap. And then we'll go the other way. So that was backstroke for me. And then let's do freestyle. So see, feel your shoulder blades pull off your ribs. Instead of just mindful uh, or mindlessly moving through stuff. Just bring your attention to it, moving through movement. And then a few more, and notice how this one feels. You're kind of bringing your spine a little bit into flexion, getting maybe more of a stretch where the shoulder blade and the ribs are. And then we'll just bring it back to a normal stance. Place your hands on your thighs, and um, you can do cat-cow here just to kind of warm up the spine. Or, and, and then you can eventually make your way into a forward fold or you can stay wherever it feels good. You can stay in your cat and cow. If you're coming forward, start to eventually see if it's okay to come even more gradually using the breath. And if your hands are touching the mat, let your head relax and maybe grab the elbows and notice that that's pulling a little bit more on your lats. See what, where you, that feels okay. And take a few breaths here. This does a lot for the spine and your spinal cord, which is the main cord of all your nerves coming off. So pay attention to how this feels. If it doesn't feel good for you, then um, you know bring it back up. But it's a, a nice different position to put our spine in and to explore. And even with the movement of the breath, that changes up the small little articular facets in your spine. You can sway if you want to sway. We'll take a few more breaths here. And then we'll bring our hands on our thighs whenever you're ready. So it slowly comes up. So the hands on the thighs are to support your spine as you are gently kind of restacking. Maybe use your core. And then once you get to the top, Take another shoulder roll or just check back in with the shoulders, whatever feels good for you to do right now. And then we'll go into a little neck stretches. So let's bring our hands behind us, bend your elbows and just let your arms rest here. 
tucking our chin in. Let's bring it down to our chest bone. Not let, don't let it drop. Just tuck it in and gently angle it down. And just take a few breaths here. Notice if there's a difference in your shoulders. And then we'll explore keeping the chin tucked in. Let's move it over to the right and just see how you feel on that left side. And shoulders, neck, they work together very closely. And then back to the center and then over to the left. And then back to the center, keeping our chin tucked in. Bring it back on top of the spine. Notice how different that feels. And then just relax, shake those shoulders out, right ear to right shoulder, extend the left arm back, or relax your right arm down. I have it on my hip, just keep it relaxed down. See how that feels on your whole left side. Can you feel it all the way through the arm? Extend the wrist, spread the fingers wide, and then rotate the palm, bend your elbow, slide that arm across the back, keeping our chin tucked in. Let's just gently rotate our head up towards the left corner of the room. Notice how it feels to bring the right ear back down to the right shoulder. Does it feel different, the stretch? And then release. And we'll do the left side. So left, left ear to left shoulder. Extend that right arm out. Spread those fingers. Notice this side, where do you feel it? And then rotate the arm, bend the elbow. Slide that hand across your lower back, keeping our chin tucked in. Rotate the nose and chin up to the right corner of the room. shoulder, left shoulder, and just release that. See how that feels. And then start to reach the arms out to the side and up. Stretch it up. Walk your ribs out of your hips. So we're kind of starting to travel down to the midsection of our back and our ribs. Just see how they all feel. And then we'll lower our right arm down and start to press the ribs to the left. Maybe the hips go. Take a little side bend. Nice and gentle. We're gonna take the strap and do the same thing, which is gonna be a lot more challenging. So we're just warming up here. So pull yourself out of that, reach that right arm up. Exhale, left arm down, move the ribs to the right hips, relax the left shoulder. What's going on on that right side? And then we'll release of that. We'll do a rotation. So we'll step a little wider than our feet and rotate to the right. Let your left heel come up and then to the left. And just noticing how it feels in your lower back to rotate that hip. Plays an important role in a full rotation. And one more each way. So one day I did the, or I don't know if that was Friday that I did that. We did the arm across, up and down. That's always something to explore on your own if you remember. Um, you know, this is just, I'm here just to show you guys some stretches that hopefully make you feel good in your body and wake all your muscles up. So we're going to open up here. Squeeze your shoulders together. Look up, stretch the throat, lower back, knees bent. And then whenever you're ready, exhale, round it forward. So interlace your fingers here. Rotate the palms to the front of the room. Inhale, reach it up. And then just see if you can notice how different this stretch might feel in your upper back, like where your shoulder blades are, 
when you flip the hands um, the opposite direction, so towards your head, and then try to rotate your elbows to the front of the room. How does that feel? It kind of broadens the back a little bit. And then release your arms down. Uh, bent legged forward fold as you come down to grab your strap. <laughs> just to release any um, anything you got going on in your low back. And then we'll just restack whenever you're ready all the way back up. We'll take, if you have a long strap, I like to fold mine in half so it's not in my way. And then reach. So little, well, let's do arm distance width apart. And um, reach it up. So we'll take a side bend, um, feet hip distance width apart here. And reach the shoulders up towards the ears if that feels okay. And then we'll take a side or gently pull on that strap and take a side bend to the right. Pull your right hand down, your left arm up and just feel the difference in that. It's a little bit more challenging. If it's too much, engage your core on the front side, pull the ribs in so you can support your back. But really um, deep stretch along that left side and along your spine. It's just harder to have arms overhead. It, it's as you exhale, pull your left rib to your left hip. It just adds a lot more muscles in your back so when you have your arms overhead in a different position for your spine. So it's an extension. Inhale and then as you exhale, check in and start to side bend to the left going on on the right side. Try to bring your head so that it's in the middle of your arm. Sometimes we, we think we're side bending and we just do this. <laughs> so try to bring the whole spine with you. And then we will bring ourselves out of this. Pull your right ribs to your right hip. Inhale, exhale, just release. Let your arms come down. We'll bring the strap behind us wide straddle forward fold. So options here, you can just keep your hands like this and fold forward, or you can rotate the palms to the front. That's going to take a little stretch through the shoulders a little bit more. I'm going to go easy on my left shoulder. So I'm going to keep my palms uh, facing the back of the room and then I'm just going to reach up. So wide straddle, that wasn't very wide for me, forward fold. Take your time, explore as you come down. Notice where you feel this. Be mindful of the whole back side that's going to bring you up. So your hamstrings, your calves. So just as you extend up, pay attention to that and then just release the shoulders. Bend your knees. Oh, actually, no, let's stay here. Let's do that lunge. So we're going to rotate on our right heel, bring your arms out. And then we're going to bend our right knee. And as we rotate to the right again, we're going to come off that left heel. You're just going to keep rotating to the back of the room and then you're going to, if you feel okay, reach your arms up as far up as you can and then kind of press your left arm down, your right, or your right arm down, your left arm up to open up the ribs more, the spine. Squeeze your glutes, get your balance, lower your arms back to parallel to the floor, slowly bring yourself back. That's Pretty tricky. Other side, pivot on your left heel, bend your knee. Start to rotate, lift your right heel off. Squeeze those glutes, reach the arms overhead, open up, breathe. And then release those arms back down rotate back to the front of the room. We'll bend our knees, heel toe, our feet in, and we'll do cow shape arms. So let's take our strap and our left arm and just bring the strap behind you. And then you're just gonna relax into this. So bend your left elbow, 
take your right arm, bend your elbow, and just bring it behind you as far as you can. And then just let that right hand grab onto the strap. So your uh, left elbow's up, your right arm, elbow's down, and you're just resting into this. So your hands are just hanging onto the strap, getting a little release, a little stretch here. Notice how this side feels, and then we'll do the other side. Notice if your ribs are popping out, and maybe engage your core and pull them in. And then on your exhale, let both arms just melt down to your side and see how they feel. Check in for breath and then switch sides. So we'll bring our right arm up and then bend your right arm, bend your left elbow, and then just take that left hand and try to grab onto that strap where you feel in a stretch. Notice the ribs, if they popped out, maybe pull them in just because we're holding here and breathing on this. So just check in with the low back. So don't wander off. Notice how this feels on this side and then pay attention to how it feels when you release and let the arms melt down. One more and then we'll come down to the, to, to the uh, mat. And this isn't gonna be for everybody, but go as wide as you can. Pay attention to what goes on in your shoulder blades. We're gonna reach them up and back as far as we can. You go where it feels good to you. Not all of us are gonna go all the way back. That's not the point. It is to explore your range of motion without any pain and then come back around. And what I want you to pay attention to is your shoulder blades. Hopefully they are helping your rotator cuff in moving. And how you would know that is kind of, can you feel your ribs pop out because your shoulders are coming together in the back there. So not that that's a bad thing, but if it bothers your low back, maybe pull the ribs together and don't let them pop out. It's a whole different feel there. And then back up. All right. So we're gonna come down, laying down on our mat or couch. If you're on the couch, um, take the strap around the leg that's to the outside of the couch. We're gonna do some, some hamstring hip stretches here. Uh, before we go there though, just uh, lay down on the mat um, with your knees bent. That restorative stretch, or it's not even a stretch, it's just a, it's a pose for your low back. So there's nothing being pulled on. You're not requiring any strength, hopefully, um, too much of the main muscles that usually are kind of helping to move the hips and and therefore affect the low back. So just even just this breath does a lot to your lower back as far as just releasing. So again, if you uh, want to stay here, you can. If you're just like, oh, I really need to give my back a break, stay there. Otherwise. We are going to take the strap around our right foot and extend both legs straight and lower them down. And then let's do this actively, even though you're holding on to the strap. Pull um, your right leg in. We're going to do it three times just so you feel a little tension in the back and then release it. Do that two more times. See if you can go a little further each time. And one more. And then go wherever, keep the knee straight. That's the most important thing is to keep that knee straight so we're getting a full effect of the hamstrings. And then go where you feel tension here. So some of this might be here and that's fine. It's a lot harder for you if you're here because you're engaging your quad. So just hold on to the strap so that your quad can relax and you can get a little stretch without working so hard. Um, some of you guys might be here. Go where it feels like you're getting a stretch in the belly of this back of the leg here, not the sits bone. So you don't wanna, you wanna kind of keep it into the muscles. Those are the muscles. If you kind of feel it in the joint area, it might be working on stretching your ligaments or tendons. And um, the focus is really the muscle. This is just, it's kind of a passive stretch a little bit. 
I'm not asking you to pull on it though. I'm asking you to actively come where you can feel that stretch. So then we're gonna take, so just notice this. So notice where you feel this and then release your leg to where you're not feeling much of a stretch and you're gonna take the strap in um, your right hand, take it out to the right. And you're gonna wrap it behind your leg and then bring it around on the inside and let your knee rotate out and your right toe rotate out. So, And then notice how that felt in your hip and then maybe bring the leg in a little bit. Where do you feel that? Might feel it more like on the IT band. release, rotate it the other way. And uh, so it's going to go on the inside, wrap around behind your leg, come around on the outside, rotate the knee and toe in and very gently bring it in. And where do you feel that? Focus on where you feel it. We'll do the left hip and just kind of have an idea of where you were tight and how it all felt, and then we will release that and we'll do the left leg. So bend your right knee and lower your foot down, and then take your left foot back on the mat. Take a moment here just to notice how that right hip feels. And then when you're ready, we will bring the strap around the left foot, extend that straight, straighten that left leg, lower your left foot, right leg, lower your left leg down, and really make sure it's straight. So kind of press the back of the knee into the mat so that you're engaging that kneecap and your quad, and then pull up until you feel a little tension. So it's nice and easy at first, and then release it two more times. And one more, so three times, and then you hold it. this one let's hold it so bring it up as high as you can again you might be here notice where you are and then wherever you are just hold on to the strap and let your leg relax try not to bring stress into the shoulders keep those shoulders nice and at ease so explore where you feel it on this leg And we'll bring, uh, you can stay here or release it a little bit, the stretch a little, and then bring both straps into the left hand, wrap it behind the leg, bring it around the middle, external rotation on that left hip, and then gently bring it in, see how that feels. Try to keep the knee straight. Like where do you feel that? On the right side, I mentioned the IT band, that's where I felt it because a lot of muscles are attached to that band and I think that a lot of muscles engage when you do that rotation, but on this side, I don't feel it there. So we'll release that and then explore the other side. Both straps in your right hand, we'll wrap it behind your leg, grab it around that left, with the left hand. Let's try to get that knee to rotate in and then bring it in as far as you can see where that where you feel that how far is this foot rotated in as opposed to the other foot relax any tension you might be carrying in the shoulders the neck the jaw so for those of us that have really tight hips in this direction you tend to clench your breath, so just notice that release tension. And then we will bend the knee and release that. Let's bring both legs in. So again, you might be here. Go where you feel. You can feel a little stretch. Don't let your tailbone come off the mat. Keep the tailbone there and just bring both legs as far as you can. 
and just hold it, hold on to the strap, let your legs kind of rest here. Notice where you feel that. You can even press your feet out into the strap like we do when I do those um, press into when we're sitting and we do those, those standing stretches. I mean, when we're sitting and we do the, the, the stretches where our legs are out straight and we kind of push into the strap a little bit. So that's another option here. And then we're gonna bend both knees and release the strap. Rotate your ankles, give your knees a hug. Sway a little side to side. And then we will rotate our knees all the way to the left. Tee the right arm out. Look at the right hand. Breathe through our right bottom ribs. Notice how much of your right side is down on the mat here. If your shoulder blade is not down on the mat, you might want to bring your arm underneath your shoulder, it might be bothering your rotator cuff. So explore what feels good. And then we'll gently roll back onto our spine or our back. Feel, um, use your muscles. Notice how that feels. And then we'll grab our Knees with our right hand, and then gently lower those knees to the right. Look to the left. Notice this side. How much of your back is on the mat? Where, does, where do you feel this? If this bothers your hips, sometimes doing this stretch with a block, if you have a block or a pillow, so that this knee doesn't drop below the hip, that might irritate your hip a little bit. You could keep it in the line. Engage and notice as you bring the knees back to the center. Lower the feet down. Knees, um, our feet out wide, knees together again, back to that restorative stretch or extend your legs out straight. We're just gonna end with a, a few breaths here, really taking a moment to check into your inner compass, um, a moment to slow down, pause, and just simply notice how you feel. Again, trying to breathe in and out the nose. Whenever you're ready, you can stay here and uh, give yourself some more space for this opportunity to, to stay present and focus. It's challenging. Notice if it's really challenging for you today. That's even a, a practice is noticing, wow, I really just can't even do that today. <laughs> so roll over onto your side, press your way up to your seated position. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Also time to do more stretches. So stay down on the mat if you can. I wish I could spend more time with you guys. <laughs>